Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video today. We're not out on a lake or a pond or even on the water. We're in my room. Um, this is where I store all of my tackle. Um, it's it's insane, but um, this is basically where I get all the gear to film my videos and make videos for you guys. So um, I guess we'll just start off here. Um, got NASCAR diecast next to my dresser, but I uh, got some swim baits up here. Um, some of these baits, like uh, this one, caught my muskie on it. Caught so many bass on this one. My first smallmouth. Uh, this was the day I caught over 500 crappie on this. I uh, got a giant pike bait right there. On top of these pull-out drawers, just all of my utilities. Bait cutting knife, grabbers, fillet knife, towel. Um, on this next one, I just got a scaler, cop molds for bait, pliers, just line cutting stuff. And then... Right here, we just got these little toolboxes. These are used for screws, but I love them for these lures. Um, these were great. I got like just all of the baits. Some of them are empty, but like frogs, choke baits, robber flappers, shadow baits, square bills, crank baits. Just all of that stuff. Just all of the hard baits. This one got all the same thing. Just love these. They keep really well everything and they also just overall work super well um for just holding lures so they're all on this nice little rack i uh, got a home depot for about 40 bucks next we uh, come down here um cast nets got my corp stuff more cast nets back there uh this is all corp bait so my panko bird comes for the corp miscellaneous tackle boxes got flies kits salt water kits little micro tackle boxes stuff like that got a wheel and then got a um <coughs> and then got a um some assorted stuff for salt water back here bass box bass box uh all of my trout baits can barely open trout baits like pack uh the power baits and stuff like that these are like kits um this is like unopened stuff, kind of extras, more kits too. Rod holders, all of my line. So this has mono, every single type you can think of for leaders and all of that stuff, basically. Um, got some more unopened stuff. This is more extras. I use these bins, they stack really well. And uh, yeah, you can just see in there, just a bunch of extra stuff and unopened stuff too. Come down here collection of barbers got the jig head box um this is all sinkers for salt water uh this is just extra boxes um this is where i keep my uh use soft baits some of them make good colors too because the they transfer the colors onto the other baits so they can make some really good textures that really can help some get some more fish out there um miscellaneous box um the main tackle bag i use more rod holders, and then this is just, I think, this is just hooks, rigs, yeah, hooks, rigs, uh, more hooks and bags. Back here, you got the, if you can see that, you got the um, bag of, like, uh, cured, uh, like, salt water stuff for cup bait and stuff like that. Uh, weights right here, this one has smelt hooks, and this one has like assortment packs of hooks, sinkers, and stuff like that. Now onto what everybody's been waiting for, my rods. I have over 20 rods. I can, I will tell you what each of them use for, what they are, and like just about the price. Actually not the price point, but just what they are and basically the brand too. Starting off here, these two are St. Croix. Um, trout rod, six foot ultra light. Um, these two rears, the Bass Pro Shops, uh, combo, micro light combo, and a Flugel Prison XT. This is the one that you see in all of the videos. Works really well for panfish and all like ultra light stuff, like bluegill. If we're going for that, works really well. Next, my mom's rod. Um, this is a arid coastal rod, six foot medium, with a Daiwa Legulis. Um, 1000 uh this is the reel that i use for 
probably about five of my rods works really well. This one's really good for salt water, uh, sea trout if you're going for that. Next is my travel rod. You got the Daiwa Ordito, seven foot medium, I believe. Yeah, medium. Um, this is a great rod. It collapses into three pieces, so works really well. I've this rod has probably traveled over a thousand miles. I'm not gonna lie, it's really good for if you're just going somewhere. It's super light. Um, if you want to just find a random pond that's pretty far away, but you have a bunch of stuff in your trunk, then just take this out. Next, we got the uh, Daiwa Fogo uh, 2500 with it. Really nice reel. Super light compo overall. Next, we got an uh, empty rod. This is a Daiwa Pro Canyon. You're going to see that a lot. Uh, this is my Corp rod. Guggen Green. I got it for free because I spent a bunch of money at cars. And then we got a Daiwa NCAST BR. This is the two drag system. So if you can see that right there, flick that switch and then it's in your like loose drag and then you flip this up and then it's tidal. Next we got the Guggen Green. This is my bass rod. Guggen, actually Guggen Gold. Oh, that is a finesse by the way, finesse light. This one's a finesse light too, but in the gold series, uh, with a Shimano Vanford 2500, really expensive but pretty good solid reel for bass and sea trout. Works really well for sea trout. Next, we got the Daiwan Dai Dobbin Sierra, um, seven foot rod. This is the um, light, I believe. It's like, yeah, I think it's just light. This is my BFS main kind of BFS for bass, paired with a Shimano Karate. BFS real really good if you hope if you like catching things like me really good rod makes them feel huge next we got the just a sh ugly, ugly stick um uh ugly stick what is this gx2 i think i don't know yeah gx2 this is just a really indestructible rod i would recommend this to anyone that is want to go fishing but it's kind of more in the 50 dollar range so pretty affordable for the combo you can get them at walmart if you catch the black friday do i think you can get them for like 30 dollars too next we got the daiwa revos combo um yeah this is just the combo this is a six six medium light as you can see right there um got the daiwa revos lt 2500 on it 16 pound braid all of these have braid 16 pound daiwa j braid this is the best type of braid in my opinion i've landed 40 pound rays on it and it didn't even break next we got um so that yeah that one looks really good for sea trout next we got my bfs rod this is a tesua dark wolf with a tesua dexterity seven foot ultralight this works really good if you love crappy and are huge into crappy i really recommend you pick one of these up they are extremely good if yeah you can check them out at bait finesse empire looks really good Next, we got, um, I think I skipped, I, th I skipped a couple, but, um, I skipped one, actually, but this is a Daiwa Pook Canyon with a Daiwa Lagulis 1000, 7 foot ultralight. If you watch my videos, this is, these, this rod I recommend, and this is the rod that I use for most of my crappy fishing. My dad uses it, too. This is the one I threw out, but I have two of them, so exactly the same. 16 pound line on both of them. Work really good for crappy. Um, you can see it already has a jig on it. Um, next we got more of the saltwater rods. This is a uh, Akuma. I don't know the exact brand. Akuma Avalon. This is a combo. It's for salmon mainly, but it works really good for just about everything. It's ultra light, but mainly I use it for. Um, Sometimes I use it for sea trout because you can wing those lures really far out into the surf. Um, next we have the Penfios 3, 3,000, I think, 4,000 with a um, pen, um, pen Prevail 2. Uh, this is a medium heavy rod, great for offshore fishing and fishing on the beach this is what i use it for uh this is my dad's offshore rod this is a shimano quantum i think it is with a gx2 heavy my mom's which is a 
a pretty old pen 4500 i don't know the model but it just says a pen 4500 with the pen Fierce 3 rod so i just switched i took this this was a combo but i just switched them um i got my uh zip code doc demon i got three of these these it work extremely well if you have somebody just that's beginning to go into fishing they're basically indestructible so i've had one over here i can show you real quick guys um this one i've caught over 2000 bluegill on this thing had it since i was five still do have it it works still works really well then another one there but anyway um that's gonna do it up there got the sea trout rigs i love to hang them up um because the line it doesn't the line doesn't like take its form it just stays straight and then uh, this is my tackle wall. Uh, basically, we got all terminal tackle. Try and get a good shot. Um, this is my bobby gall and soft plastics. It's got crappy rig sinkers. Soft plastics, soft plastics, soft plastics. Uh, miscellaneous stuff for more flounder rigs, offshore rigs. Bobby gall This is all bobby gall Like, literally, I have every single type. Um, miscellaneous, unopened lures, miscellaneous, miscellaneous, um, sinkers and assortment hooks, hard baits, flounder eggs, saltwater lures, uh, bass lures, more saltwater stuff, jig heads, hooks, weights, soft plastics, jig heads, spinner baits, blade baits, hooks for saltwater miscellaneous, sinkers, jig heads, soft plastics, Sword hooks, hair rigs for carp fishing, um, double drop rigs for saltwater fishing right there. Um, got a egg sinkers rigs, I don't know what you call these, for um, anything. I recommend these for a lot of stuff, like they can catch basically anything. Really simple rig, um, just got a weight and some steel leader and you can attach whatever size hook you want. These are the clasp, uh, sea trout rigs. And carp rigs, a tournament ruler, some trout, just rainbow trout, freshwater trout for uh, rigs for that. And um, that's about it, guys. Um, so just wanted to do this video. It's kind of just like a, to show what I use. This is not a flex. This is truly just what I use. Um, if you find this helpful, if you want any information on any of these rods, reels, anything that I use, or what you think you should use i can give you some tips if you comment them down below uh, make sure to like the video watching the whole thing through is better than you liking and subscribing because it gets the thing on the algorithm which makes people like and subscribe so um yeah that's basically my setup that's it so uh see ya